legislators, especially from the NRM side, are all geared up for the voting exercise which is to take place tomorrow in the August House to decide upon candidates for the East African Legislative Assembly. This is how these elections will be carried out. We are going to vote, look at competencies, because we are not picking people to go and represent parties. Right. We are picking people to go and represent Uganda in the East African Legislative Assembly. So we are going to look at the competencies of these people. How are they? How have been their CVs? How has been their track record? Only nine candidates are to be voted tomorrow by the whole house in which NRM has already selected six, while two opposition parties have already joined the rest, UPC and DP, something that some of the opposition members view as betrayal. The main opposition party, FDC, are a notable mission from the voting exercise. But individual members of the Democratic Party have decided to become treacherous. And for that, we shall pay a very, very big price as a party. By 9 o'clock, all the candidates are expected to campaign before the MPs as they seek to be voted in as the yellow MPs. Over eight independent candidates were confirmed. However, in a twist of events, one of the lawmakers from the opposition told NTV that there are a section of people that are securing a court injunction in Kampala. Now they have opted to go into court. So we are likely to see by the end of today an injunction from our courts here in Uganda against the entire process. As Parliament goes ahead tomorrow to vote for the different members to represent in the East African Legislative Assembly, the top opposition group in the country, FTC, has decided to step aside not to participate in this election. Their argument is that they will wait for the judges in the East African Judicial Court to pronounce the judgment. Meanwhile, at the FTC offices in Nigeria and Kumbi, it was a behalf of activity as a number of candidates already gave a fair to the According to Nandela Mafabi, the leader of opposition, his argument is that tomorrow's elections will be nullified. So that's the reason why they're electing their candidates. It was doing our primaries to be ready because we are not very sure that this process will be overturned. Mafabe also blamed the speaker yesterday for not considering the discussion on the floor of parliament over the consensus they should have come up with. We were doing our primaries to be ready because we were not very sure that this process would be overturned. And that's what we are doing. And if they were really sensible people, they would have gone back and said, it's time we sit and go the right way and allow parties to participate after consensus. At like three this afternoon saw the margins of Abdul Katuntu who many were waiting to hear from. Unfortunately, the registrar does not have judicial powers, so he would not take any interim decisions pending the return of the judges. The judges are on a sabbatical in Sweden, and they are, on, 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 they are coming back on the 8th of next month. Katuntu then noted that he is firm and confident that tomorrow's elections will be nullified by a court injunction if their petition is successful. The decision by the NRM to allocate six seats to themselves is illegal, it is against the treaty, and I don't think it will, t it will stand the test of, 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 of the treaty. It will not. So my view is they can go through some formalities of election, but eventually the issue will be determined by the court and it will be in our favor. FDC officials have voted for their candidates and are hoping to take them in in the event that the court nullifies tomorrow's elections. However, today's FDC results showed that FDC's Vice President Salam Musumba lost to among Anita and Augustine Ruzindana that are hopefuls to represent FDC. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.